Hey, how's it going? This is Eduard Stinga from Videoplasty and welcome to this tutorial video for Camtasia where I will show you how easy it is to create a video animation or like a professional explainer video, however, however you want to call it using a really simple trick or method that not many people use and uh, some, something that's really easy to implement. You can get started as soon as today and you don't need any previous uh, you know, animation experience or graphic design experience. All you need to do is you have to know like some basic editing basically in uh, <laughs> basic editing basically in uh, you know Camtasia but you can pretty much pick that up by just following this tutorial. Alright, so without further ado, let's have a quick look at the video animation. It's like a one minute explainer video for a company that doesn't exist. Let's have a look at the video. I'm going to show you how to recreate today. So you're sick and tired of the same routine, same job you don't really like that much. But then it hits you. What if you take a break from all that boring stuff and go on an adventure? Like, pack your stuff right now and get ready to leave as soon as possible. Welcome to YourDreamTrips.com, the best travel agency in your local area. With us, it's all really simple. It doesn't matter if you want to go to an exotic island, go camping, sail around the sea, or go from place to place on a world tour. We got you covered. Don't forget your camera, because once you're on that airplane traveling halfway across the world, you'll want to take a picture of the clouds from your window seat. The view from 10,000 feet is amazing! Or take a selfie when you get there and post it on social media. Or really, just sit on the beach, enjoying the sun and relaxing. That's why you're there, aren't you? So give us a call at 1234-5678 and book your dream holiday today. All right, that looks pretty amazing. Um, I know at first this might look a bit uh, complicated, a bit overwhelming, but uh, I assure you it's super easy to do and I'm going to show you how you can do the exact same thing uh, in the next couple of minutes. And the, the way this video was created was by using something called stock animation. And uh, if you don't know what that is, just think about like stock, uh, like stock footage, for example, or stock photos. It's the exact same concept, but for animation, it's basically pre-animated elements that are you know put together in a library. Uh, you can import that. Uh, you know, you buy them online on uh, various stores, and you can just import them in your in your program, in, like in Camtasia. As you can see, I already imported mine here. Uh, you know, they're pre-animated and all you have to do is drag and drop them on the timeline and, uh, you know, just pretty much adjust the timing from that moment. So let's get started. First of all, you know, whenever you make a video, like the first thing is you need to have a script and after you have a script, you got to record the voiceover. Uh, but that topic is like for a whole different video, so I'm not going to cover how to do that now. Uh, I already have that done as you can see here, so I'm gonna drag and drop the voiceover on the timeline. And uh, apart from the voiceover, it's really nice to have some music as well. And uh, lucky for us, uh, Camtasia already comes with some uh, some music that we can use. So I'm just gonna go to library, uh, music tracks, and uh, I'm just gonna use this one called Firefly. So I'll drag and drop this here on the timeline as well. <clears throat> It's a bit long, so I'm going to zoom out and, uh, you know, make it shorter. Yes. And also one really important thing is you want to make the volume of the music a bit lower, like 33% should be fine because you want to you want to you want to be able to hear the voiceover. So you're sick and tired of the same routine. Yeah, that should be pretty much fine. I'm going to zoom in now because I want to I want to be able to see the the waveform here of the voiceover. The one on the bottom is the voiceover. Uh, and as you can see here, this is where there's a small pause between sentences. It basically said, so you're sick and tired of the same routine. So for that one, <clears throat> I'm going to go to media. And uh, what I used for that was uh, this piece of stock animation called tired. So let me just drag and drop this here on the timeline. And as you can see, it's, uh, you know, it comes with a transparent background. You can uh, move it around the screen, make it smaller or whatever. 
I'm just gonna put it back and it's already pre-animated you know and there's nothing else you have to do you just basically drag and drop it here on the timeline and um, I'm gonna move this here and just make this a bit smaller because after this I want to use a different clip let's see what the voiceover says first same job you don't really like that much Alright, so <clears throat> the next line is same job, you don't really like that much for that one. Uh, I just used this one sleeping at work. You know, uh, of course, you have to do a bit of uh, preparation before you select like what sort of, uh, you know, stock animation uh, items you need and, uh, you know, figure out the ones that work for your specific message. I already did that uh, and I have them imported here. Now it's just a matter of, uh, you know, playing around with them, adjusting the timings and, uh, you know, see what works basically and uh, putting them all together like this. So the next part in the voiceover, it says, But then it hits you. What if you take a break from all that boring stuff? All right. So I think for this one, I played around with uh, this clip thinking and uh, I just made it really short like but then it hits you and then uh, right after it I used this one called idea like when the guy gets an idea and uh, I think it's all the way till here obviously you still have to you know check the voiceover every time and uh, you know play it back a couple of times see if the timing is right in our case I already did this before and I know that the timing is perfect um so let's see let's see how it looks basically oh actually before we do that we currently have this black background so let's uh let's change that a bit and um the way you do that is by going to edit project settings and uh, for the background color <clears throat> let's just use something else um uh, i don't know something like this Yep, should be fine. Uh, hit apply. There you go. Already looks much better and looks uh, looks a very very similar to the color in our tutorial. So let's play it back and see how it feels. We have like the first uh, pretty much ten seconds of the video. So you're sick and tired of the same routine, same job. You don't really like that much, but then it hits you. What if you take a break from all? All right, that looks pretty good. I think we have a bit of a gap there. Oops, I'm gonna zoom in a bit more, I think. Oh yeah, there you go. Uh, yep, gotta fix that a bit, yes. All right, so <clears throat> what if we go on an adventure? I think the next one that we used is uh, a clip called Traveling. Uh, drag and drop this here. And uh, make sure it starts right after the previous one go on an adventure like and then uh you know all the all the assets so far had transparent background and for the next part in the voiceover i used this one which is like a full screen scene of uh, someone packing some uh you know like luggage and um, it kind of plays until here and at this point in the voiceover the next line is Welcome to yourdreamtrips.com. So at this point, I, pr I pretty much introduced the company where normally you would just like create a sort of a logo animation and the name of the company. So in our case, because we don't have a logo, what I did was um, I just used this icon of like, you know, the classic Volkswagen van, which is like really cute. So uh, make this one a bit smaller. Uh, move it here to align it in the center. Um, let me see. I also added some text and in Camtasia, the way you do that is go to annotations. Uh, let's just select this one real quick. Gonna put it here in the middle, make it a bit bigger, I suppose. And I'm just gonna write yourdreamtrips.com. All right. Uh, Make it a bit bigger all right and uh, because the text is not animated 
I'm just gonna go here to behaviors and select one of those. Uh, I don't know. I'll just go with the first one. Uh, you have to drag and drop it on the text on the timeline. And um, I'm gonna synchronize the text with the van, basically. There you go. Just so they both play back together like this nicely. All right. Okay, so let's just check the whole thing again from, from the beginning and um, see how it feels. So you're sick and tired of the same routine, same job you don't really like that much. But then it hits you. What if you take a break from all that boring stuff and go on an adventure? Like pack your stuff right now and get ready to leave as soon as possible. Welcome to YourDreamTrips.com, the best travel agency in your local area. All right, I think that looks pretty amazing. We have the first 20 seconds of the video done and uh, it literally took us maybe five to 10 minutes. And uh, of course, a bit of you know work before that to select the stock animation that uh, works for your, for your video. But uh, I would say that's pretty, pretty simple. And uh, you know, I'm, I'm not gonna drag this tutorial on forever because it's just gonna get boring if I recreate a whole thing up to one minute. But I think the first 20 seconds should be more than enough for you to understand this like on a concept level and see you know how easy it is to do and uh, you know once you're finished with like the whole video and you want to export it in Camtasia all you go all you, you have to do is go here on top uh, where it says share and just uh, export as a local file and uh, you know just select your title settings and all that and just just basically click export it should be fairly simple now the big question is where can you find stock animation for your videos and uh, to be honest you, you know you can look on google and see what you can come up with uh, there are a couple of uh, you know stock animation assets on you know big stock footage sites i'm not going to name names however the problem with that is um, you know the quality is not very good and the style is quite inconsistent so that's pretty much the reason why I started a website called Videoplasty.com. So full disclosure, I own Videoplasty. And, um, you know, the reason why I made it was because I couldn't find any, you know, good stock animation for, for videos. So I wanted to, you know, create a marketplace with uh, high quality stock animation that uh, has like similar, you know, style. It's very consistent like similar style in like the graphic design and uh, and the animation design. So uh, have a look, it's called videoplasty.com. We sell all sorts of like different packs, like character animations, icons and stuff like that. It's super easy to use as you just saw in the tutorial. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this quick Camtasia tutorial. I look forward to seeing some uh, videos that you guys make with the assets from videoplasty.com. This was Edward Stunga and uh, I'll see you soon.